this is St. Joe State Park, and this is a, ge a geological spot that I like, that I call the core sample spot, because this is where they would dump a lot of the core samples. And I say we make a little camp right here real quick. Let's see if we can find some mining stuff. Oh, right off the bat, we have a, uh, a piece of pipe left over. All right. Now you see a core sample is whenever they would drill into the ground and extract a cylindrical rock. And they, uh, they could then test that rock to see what kind of ore it had in it. Because this is, after all, a lead mine, which would have, tr uh, th they would have been trying to find Galena, I think it's called. Oh, like here. See that? That is a core sample. It's been run over a lot, so it doesn't look exactly like a core sample. But, it's still pretty cool. And this core sample is all over the place here. Like this. But, this is an area that has a little heavier traffic. So, let's go up here and see because I think there should be a lot more core samples up here where there's less written. Ah, I like these. See, these ones, these core samples, are uh, a little, uh, have straighter edges than the other ones down there because they haven't been worn as much. Holy cow, there's core samples all over the place here. You see them? Huh, look at that. I'm probably going to take home a bag of these. And here's a, uh, one of the holes where they dug them. Like, they would park the truck right here and just have the truck drilling down until they got an ore that they wanted. But until they hit that ore, or hit the depth that they were looking at, they would just throw away all the rock. Because you don't want to have to keep and transport several hundred meters of rock, core sample, just to get to, uh, say, seven or eight hundred feet down. There should be a pipe sticking out of the ground somewhere. Just like the one that was down there. That's actually, if you guys may have noticed on my desk, when I do a couple videos, there's a huge core sample. And I actually found that down here. It was very hard because they, uh, it was stuck into a pipe as like a plug. And they just left it there. So I had to bend a couple screwdrivers to make a special tool to get it out. Over here we have something pretty interesting. This is fungus. And as you notice, there's a lot of dirt around the fungus. You see all these dimples in this rock and this fungus? The dimples are caused by the fungus. The fungus actually eats the rock. And as it's, uh, it's like uh, mycelium is extremely acidic and it, mel and it dissolves the rock, turns it, turning it into uh, minerals that it can consume. And it turns into dirt that just kind of falls down or sticks there. Like a, like a lot of times up here, there's a lot. Like there's kind of like a layer of dirt that hasn't washed away yet. But anyway, these th these fungi or whatever you uh, whatever they call it, I don't know. Basically, they just uh, they are dissolving these rocks with their acidic uh, digestive systems, basically. Now we're gonna mess with some of this fungi by tearing it off. See, there's like a dirt that comes up from underneath it's because underneath there's like a sand. Now that rock is really consumed by the fungi. Evidently, wh whatever they like is right here. And there's, and there's like a big layer of dirt. You can actually rip the fungi off because of the layer of dirt underneath it. It's more like a sand, but still, it's quite interesting. Let's grab some samples, shall we? I was, I'm, I'm really surprised by the amount of force that is in between these plates. Whenever you break them off, you still have to wiggle them out and pry them out, even though they're broken, because there's so much force on these. Wow, look at how much this rock's been eroded. This is a huge amount of erosion in there. And there's a new type of fungus on here. It's like a brownish. With, uh, it, it, it looks like a, like a... It almost looks like you spray painted green onto it and then put it brown and then put a couple of dots of red into it. 
And then there's a few little dots of black all over it. This thing has tons of fungi all, all inside of it. Well, here's a rock I haven't seen one like before. It's very strange. They say we keep it. All this sand that you see was once several hundred meters below the ground. Like, I think 800 feet below the ground. And this was all, I, I believe, galena ore. It's lead ore. And then it was uh, uh, ground up and the lead was extracted. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was, even though it really had no theme, which is all ra random finding rocks. But I will get to cleaning up these samples, especially these core samples, and might make a video someday later where I go through uh, most of them uh, in close up and under microscope. Well, see ya.